This little guy here is named Zachary. He is a coonhound mix, and he they think he's about a year and a half to two years old. I'm not quite sure because he was a rescue. Um, you could tell from his his behavior that he definitely had a hard life, you know, younger, and maybe just wasn't treated properly. So he's very needy. Um, he's very timid. He doesn't he doesn't do well with any kind of um, loud tone inflection. Um, so you can just tell that. He's had a little bit of, of run-ins in the past with humans um, that might, maybe weren't so great. So we're going to take it nice and slow with him. He really doesn't know anything. Um, I don't even think he knows how to sit, so we'll, we'll see in a second. But, you know, his, his mom has sent him to us because they have, they have a couple other dogs in the house, and he's, again, socially awkward. Um, and they also have a five-year-old daughter. He tends to, to act like she's a puppy, so he needs to learn his boundaries. And, and then again, it's just that whole building that confidence and that trust throughout training. So at the end of these two weeks, you know, he's going to be a completely different dog. Um, he's happy, you know, he loves to be pet, but he also has that trust issue. So we're going to build our trust and our confidence throughout these two weeks. Um, so let's see if he knows anything besides jumping, huh? Come here. Can you sit?
was unpredictable, very unpredictable with my husband. So that was a big concern. And uh, usually at least once, if not twice a day, he would bark and lunge at him and growl like level two aggressions, almost level three. So we got him here for two weeks of training and it looks like he's made tremendous progress. There's still some work to do, but when he has his past like he's had, it's, it's definitely gonna be a lot longer of a haul for him. So, but he's 300 times better than when he came here and he's a very sweet dog, but he's very stubborn. He definitely uh, discipline is love, so there you go. <laughs>